The Billings Clinic has been battling some financial issues for months now, and things have officially boiled over after multiple employees were laid off this week. It's a frightening time for all involved, and many still working here fear what could come next. It, it's just, we're, we're struggling. That brutal honesty comes from the voice of one Billings Clinic employee. It's scary. We're worried. We're we're freaking out. She's asked to remain anonymous, worried about potential backlash, but was more than willing to share the emotions running through the Billings Clinic right now. I would say many employees are very uneasy right now. It's just the unknown. You know, a lot of us have families that we need to feel confident that we're going to have a job and be able to support them. Those questions are fair ones as the clinic announced the first of roughly 25 layoffs Wednesday as the hospital continues to work to curb a four and a half million dollar a month budget shortfall. We're really just setting, doing everything we can to set the organization up for the future and for future success. The layoffs are just the latest in a series of cost-cutting measures. In March, CEO Clint Seeger unveiled a comprehensive plan that included everything from a company-wide hiring freeze to pay cuts from hospital executives and a reduction in contract labor. These are um, not things that anybody wants to go through, but again, it's that change and sort of shift to the new climate that we're in in healthcare that will set us all up for success. The first five of the 25 to 30 layoffs expected are in the information systems and compliance departments. Seeger says no other layoffs are planned right now, and he hopes many of those being laid off will be rehired. And we want to do the right things for all of our employees, and, and so um, we hope to have many of the employees that this would impact in, in other positions in the organization. But employees know the clinic's financial challenges are far from over and fear what could be next. We don't know what what this is going to look like. We don't know what they mean by restructuring. I'm stuck thinking this could happen to me. I am speechless, honestly. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.